Turkey, turkey, turkey. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. Tom here. Well, we got turkeys and we are super excited. They are very loving birds. Um, we've been taking them on walks to get the mail and they follow us. Uh, they're more or less bonded to us. Uh, they may fly away right now during this video, but um, I wanna talk about the probability of getting a male turkey or the probability of getting two male turkeys. So a lot of people like turkeys just as pets, which are, are what these guys are gonna be. I call them the poor man's peacock. These are going to be the, um, I guess, Norangaset breed. I hope I'm saying that right. And just a beautiful turkey. Um, they're white and black, not like a royal palm turkey, but pretty, be um, pretty beautiful turkeys. So a lot of people though, when you order turkeys, you have to order like 10 or 15 of them from hatcheries. But we were able to get turkeys from some local friends that hatched them out in their brooder. And we only got two turkeys. Um, now, historically, male turkeys don't really get along with each other and they're so big in the end. I mean, these guys are gonna be pretty big animals. Um, and two male turkeys start to fight. They can even attack each other and, and kill each other. Um, and now people say that with roosters, but we have s several roosters and we haven't had that problem. But with turkeys, it's usually a bigger problem. So this is what we're gonna talk about. The probability of only getting one male turkey and one female turkey. That is what, whoop. That is what would be the best for us if we end up with one male and one female turkey. Now, when we um, went and bought these, um, these guys are about five weeks old, I think. And when we went to get them, our friends encouraged us to get four of them, but we're gonna, hopefully, math is gonna be on our side because we don't really wanna get rid of any of our turkeys, our two turkeys. So let's talk about probability. Each turkey has a 50% chance of being male and a 50% chance of being female. Now, I know with like reptile eggs at certain temperatures, you get more males or more females, but with turkeys, I'm gonna say that isn't true. Of course, they're not reptiles, they're birds, but when you incubate at the same temperature, you get some males, you get some females. So each bird has a 50% chance of being male or female. Now, ideally, we would want um, one male and one female. Oh, there's a hummingbird right there. So, let's do the math. 50% male chance, 50% female, 50% male, 50% female. Now, for probability, all you have to do is you have to multiply um, those probabilities together. So, the probability that this turkey is male is 0.5. The probability that this turkey is female is 0.5. So 0.5 times 0.5, you get 25%. Now the probability of this one being male and this one being female, so switching them, 0.5 times 0.5. So again, another 25% chance. So we have a 50% chance that we're going to get one male and one female. Now that's our ideal. So we have a 50% chance of getting what we want. Now that is what we really want is one male and one female. But let's talk about our second choice and that would be two females. So again, this turkey has a 50% chance of being female. This turkey has a 50% chance of being female. So we have 0.5 times 0.5. So we have a 25% chance of ending up with two females. Now, if we switch that for having two males, which we really don't want because we would probably have to get rid of them or one of them is again 0.5 times 0.5. So we have a 25% chance of getting two males and a 75% chance of having a combination of something we would like to still have. Um, now, if we do end up with two males, there's lots of local people that have bought turkeys from this family and maybe we could do some sort of trade so we still get a male and a female. That's what we would really, really like. 
and these turkeys are just amazing way different than chickens and I think especially since we're spending a lot of time with them they're inside the house they're spending time with us going on walks these guys are really affectionate I know it's getting windy hopefully you can hear me this has been a little math lesson and this is why we only got two turkeys we're gonna see if math is gonna work out for us until next time keep on dreaming and never stop homesteading Rooster. I don't know that lay anymore, she's old. <laughs>